Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm really excited because we have the January BoxyCharm by Ipsy box and the Ipsy Glam Bag to unbox together. So I actually got my package today which is actually really early for me because normally I feel like I'm getting them second week of the month. Um, so I don't know if they changed their shipping because I feel like the tracking was from a different company this time. So maybe I'll be getting my packages a bit earlier from now on which would be awesome so I can get these videos up for you guys a bit earlier um so yeah super happy that it's here today and i can film this video and get it up for you guys asap so really excited for this month this is my first video back actually of the new year so happy new year everybody i hope you guys enjoyed your holidays um, but we're gonna get into it i'm gonna show you everything i got in my boxy charm and ipsy this month so if that interests you then make sure you keep on watching so let's go ahead and start off with the ipsy glam bag how cute is this bag i absolutely love all the sparkle on it, it has like sequins all over it definitely fitting for like a new year's theme so i really love this bag i think it's adorable so the ipsy bag is 14 dollars a month and you do get five deluxe samples um, sometimes there are some full sizes in here like I think I have two full sizes this month I know I get a full size like here and there not every single month I don't think but sometimes they include like a brush and stuff so I feel like that might count as a full size product so it just depends I guess on the month okay let's start off with this product here this is from Oriza Beauty if that's how you say it. I'm not sure this is their baked opaline highlighter in the shade Sun Kissed so here's how it looks in the box and inside it looks like this so it has like a clear packaging and then the highlighter itself looks like this so i will say it looks really pretty in the pan um and i was gonna actually test this out today so that i could give you kind of my first impressions on it but there is literally no color payoff or pigment on this highlighter it's like very dry like if you guys can see it's barely showing up on my finger so i as soon as i swatched it i was like no i am not going to even bother putting this on my face because it's not going to show up and yeah i'm literally having to go over like the swatch like three times and you still can barely even see it so i don't know if there's like a layer on here that you need to like scrape off to get like the pigment but based on first impression i mean it doesn't really perform very well in my opinion it kind of feels like maybe a dollar store product like it's just the quality doesn't seem to be there so yeah that's definitely a disappointing start to the bag but let's see what else is in here so next up i have this ren clean skincare radiance glow and protect serum um, I have tried this brand before. I actually just used up one of their cleansers, I think, last month. Um, and I did like it. I didn't, like, love it. But I do like that it's, like, a clean skincare brand. So I am interested in trying out more from them. So this is basically a serum that is going to help give you a radiance glow. And it's going to protect your skin. It doesn't really say much about it here. Um, but it does have a cute little tube that it comes in. It says it's 100% recycled aluminum from base to tip. So I like that they are going that route of, you know, just being more conscious about packaging and stuff like that, having more sustainable packaging or like recyclable packaging, which is really nice. Um, and it also has like just this weird like metal tip. It doesn't have a cap or anything. So that's kind of cool. It does say on the box that it's the world's first tube and reclosable break off nozzle. Okay, so I guess you break this off somehow. I don't really know. Oh, I think I see where you break it off kind of maybe in the center here. And then I'm guessing you maybe stick this piece inside to close it. I don't know. I'm going to have to maybe look that up or something to see how you actually use it. Because it's definitely an interesting packaging. Nothing I've ever seen before. So yeah, again, I'm really excited to try this out. Um, because I like trying out new skincare. And I do like this brand so far that I've you know things that i've tried from them so interested to see how i will like that okay next up we have an eyeshadow palette and i was kind of surprised by this because this looks like a full-size eyeshadow palette this is the daydreams um eyeshadow palette by lucky chick i've never heard of this brand before but it is a nine pen eyeshadow palette and normally in ipsy we see just like maybe a quad um or a duo but we never see like nine pen eyeshadow palettes so this is kind of exciting um this is how the color story looks so there is a really pretty like glitter in here which i'm super curious about but honestly i don't know if i'll keep this palette just because i am really picky about palettes that i am bringing into my collection so this isn't really something that i've you know i really haven't heard anything about this product or this brand so i may just pass this on or put it in a giveaway 
Um, but let me know if you guys have tried this and what your thoughts are on it. If it's a good palette, should I keep it? Let me know. Okay, next up we have another skincare product. This is from the brand Verify, which I've never heard of this brand before, but this is their 2020 eye cream. So it just comes in this cute little tube. So I'm excited to see what this brand is all about. Maybe I'll do a little bit of Googling to see more about the brand because I've never heard of it before. Um, it doesn't really give you any information on it either, so I might have to look that up as well. That's why I really wish we had like the cards that gave us information because I would like to know more about the product, um, especially for the videos. I could give you guys more of a description, but yeah, it doesn't say anything, so I have no idea really anything about the brand or the product, but it just says it's an eye cream, so... I mean, I may or may not keep this. I feel like I have quite a few eye creams right now that I need to get through. So I don't know if I'll get to this one for quite a while. So I may just pop that one in a giveaway as well or pass it on to someone else because I don't want it to just sit and then expire. And then lastly, we have this Aceology Berry Glaze Overnight Lip Mask. So I actually just decluttered this lip mask in my previous video, in my lip declutter video. I had a full size of this. It was a different one though. Like it wasn't the Berry Glaze one. So I'm wondering if this one has like a different scent or flavor because the one I had just did not taste good. It did not smell good. I just couldn't stand it. So I had to get rid of it because yeah, I just didn't enjoy using it. So I don't know if this one is going to be any different. Let me know if you've tried this, if it has like a berry flavor or scent or does it smell bad? Does it taste bad? Let me know because I may keep this if you guys let me know that it's, you know, okay. But the one I had was just not good. So we'll see if I can find out any information about this. I might have to look it up, um, see some reviews to see if it does have a different scent or flavor. But let me know, you guys, if you've tried it. All right, let's move on to the BoxyCharm now. So we have five full-size products in here and the box retails for $30 a month now it's gone up quite a bit in the past few years I remember it being only 25 and now here we are at 30 so I hope they don't increase the price anymore just because I feel like it is getting more on the pricey side now but still a good deal for what you all get in here because I mean the value of this box is way past $30 I mean one product in here is probably $30 so yeah let's see what we got I'm super excited so the theme of the month is glow your soul I forgot to show you guys this little card. I do really wish that they had the information on here. It kind of sucks. There's really no point to these cards now, I feel like. So yeah, we're just going to skip over that and dive right on into the box to see what we got. So first up, I am actually excited for this. This is a hair product, which I don't get a lot of hair products in my BoxyCharm. So I'm always excited when I do get one because I love trying out new hair products. Um, so this is from the brand Paradox and it's their volume blow dry spray. It says instant root lift and mega volume. So this looks really interesting. I love using a blow dry spray. I love using like volumizing hair products. So I will definitely get use of this. Um, so I'm very excited to test this out. Next up, we have the Context Dual Lip Pencil. Now this I actually tried out today and I really like it. Um, so it is a dual ended lip liner. Just looks like this. So you get two different shades. Um, one shade is called uh, Desert Plains and one is Star Breaker. So the shade I use on my lips today is Star Breaker. So I do have it on now. I will swatch both of these for you guys though so you can see the colors. So that's Star Breaker. It's a really pretty nude shade. It's what I have on my lips right now. I really do like this color and the formula feels really nice. It's not too creamy where you have to worry about it like budging or smearing. Like I feel like this will be a very long lasting lip liner just because it felt a little bit on the drier side. Not to the point where it like pulls on your lips but it does feel like it's not going to move. So I really like that because if you have a really, really creamy lip liner, they are nice going on, but I feel like they don't last as long. So yeah, I do like this formula so far. Um, this shade is Desert Plains. Now this is like a really nice dark kind of brown. So this will be great for like nude lips. And if you have like a more pale lipstick, it'll be really nice to pair it with like this darker lip liner. So yeah, I'm really excited for this. I actually really like this just the first time using it, but I definitely want to use this darker shade next time I do my lipstick because I want to see how it looks on the lips. All right, next up we have a mascara. This is from Rodile. It's their Mascara XXL Extreme Lash Maximizer in the shade Black Velvet. So I didn't try out this today. I was contemplating it, but I was like, you know what? I have so many mascaras. I literally get a mascara every month, I feel like. And um, the last Icon Box month, I can't remember what month that was. Was it November maybe? 
Um, I got three mascaras that month and then last month I think I got a mascara again. So I'm like, I feel like I'm going to keep this one new and just throw in a giveaway because I just don't need it. Um, and I just, I haven't really heard much about this brand either. So it's not something that I'm like really excited to try anyway. So I'll show you guys the wand though. Um, so here's how the wand looks. You can definitely see that it would be nice for volumizing. It's like a thicker, fluffier wand. So yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you guys have tried this, if you love it, if I should keep it. But as of right now, I feel like it's just going to go in my giveaway pile. Okay, this next product I am so, so excited for. This is from Glow Recipe. It's the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Sunscreen. I was really hoping I was going to get this in my box, and I did. So very excited for this. I love Glow Recipe. They're one of my favorite skincare brands. And I have never tried this before, so I'm definitely excited to add it to my collection. Here's how the packaging looks. Isn't it so pretty? I love the pink and I love how sleek it is. So yeah, definitely excited to give this a try. I love their Watermelon Glow line. I've tried like almost all of their products from that line. So very excited to try this out next. Um, so this says it's a lightweight glow giving daily SPF 50 that helps hydrate and protect your skin with niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, aloe, and a blend of gentle, reef safe, mineral and chemical sunscreen actives. Okay, I definitely wanna see how this smells. So I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand and see if it actually smells like watermelon. I mean, it should because it's in their watermelon glow line. Oh, it definitely does smell a little bit like watermelon, but you also do, of course, get that sunscreen smell, but it definitely helps with the sunscreen smell because it does have that little hint of watermelon. So that's really nice, kind of refreshing. And the formula feels like, it doesn't feel super greasy, but I don't know, maybe a little bit, but I mean, most sunscreens do. So, I mean, it's kind of hard to get away from that, but I feel like overall it feels pretty nice on the skin. Like my skin feels really like smooth right now. And I do love that it has like those added like skincare benefits to it, like the niacinamide and stuff. So that's really nice. Um, so I'm definitely excited to try that out on my face. All right, and then lastly, we have this Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color. This is in the shade Forbidden Rose. So this is a duplicate item for me or a repeat item. Um, I did get one of their caviar sticks in my November icon box, I believe it was. I did get a different shade. So, I mean, at least they sent me a different shade, but I'm not even sure how I feel about the one that I got. I have to test it out a bit more to see if I do like it. So I feel like this one I will just keep new and then I can put it in a giveaway or something for somebody else to try um, because the color for me isn't really something I would wear anyway. It's like more of a deeper kind of bronzy color. I just don't really feel like this is something I would really wear much. So I'll just keep it new. That way I can give it to somebody else to get better use. All right, that is everything you guys. So overall, I feel like I do really like um, the boxy charm. I feel like I got some really good products in there that I'm excited for. Um, the Ipsy bag though, I feel like was kind of a flop for me. Um, not really anything I'm super interested in other than like maybe the Ren skincare um, serum so i mean i feel like that's the only thing i'm really interested in in that one so kind of a flop but the boxy charm i feel like kind of redeemed the ipsy bag with the glow recipe and this hair product which i'm really excited for and also this lip liner which i really love so far so yeah i feel like it was a good boxy month for me just not so much the ipsy bag but honestly still happy with like the selection i got because i feel like i didn't get too much skincare this month i only got one skincare product in boxy charm and I only got two in Ipsy, so I feel like that's pretty good. Normally, I get a lot of skincare, so I'm happy with the ratio of makeup to skincare this month. But let me know what you guys got in your box and your Ipsy bag this month. Did you get the same products as me, or did you get something different? What was your favorite product from this month? Let me know in the comments down below. I will link BoxyCharm and Ipsy down below for you guys as well if you are interested in checking it out for yourself. But I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Bye.